Now, Kenny Skywalker was never an NBA All-Star, but during one All-Star weekend, he was on top of the NBA world. The mood uh, was somber for Walker in 1989. He was dealing with the death of his father just three days before the slam dunk contest. I wouldn't be surprised if Kenny was dedicating this competition to, to his dad who uh, just passed away. I mean, that would probably be the type of thing that he would do. He's that type of an individual, and he's certainly responded here. He was playing our final game in Atlanta uh, right before uh, the All-Star break against the Hawks. And uh, my father had uh, suffered several strokes uh, prior, prior to my trip uh, to Atlanta and uh, was, was very ill. Right before uh, we were supposed to get on the bus to go down uh, over to play the Hawks, uh, my brother uh, you know, told me right before the uh, game that he had just got a phone call from home that my father had passed away. With his father's passing weighing on Walker's mind, an All-Star Saturday only three days away, Kenny's mom, Ola May, told her youngest son that she still expected him to be there for the NBA Slam Dunk Contest. It was very uh, emotional, very difficult uh, to, to compete in that contest, but I think going in, I, I had a little bit more will to win. I had a little bit more focus uh, than everybody else because of my situation. Walker would win the dunk contest in a rout, completing three near-perfect slams in the final round, while the runner-up, Clyde Rexler, failed on each of his attempts. I think that that was my father looking down from heaven, you know, blocking those dunks out of there so I could reserve the win in the NBA slam dunk contest. The win in the slam dunk would represent the highlight of Walker's professional career. In the spring of 91, Kenny Skywalker became a free agent. Realizing he could make more money playing overseas, the 27-year-old signed with a team in Spain, where he won that league's slam dunk title. <laughs> Unfortunately, Walker would tear his right Achilles tendon, ending his stay in Spain. Following a brief stint with the Washington Bullets in the mid-90s, Walker finished his career by playing a season in Japan, where he won yet another slam dunk contest. It marked his third title in three different leagues, spanning three separate continents. That was a little bit easier to win over there as opposed to Europe and the NBA, but I could be the only guy to ever win uh, the slam dunk contest in three different countries. The 1989 slam dunk championship. Oh, yes. Well, that's, a, that's impressive. Something probably uh, young Vince Carter saw and say, uh, that guy's going to inspire me to do something crazy one day. Hopefully I did. Although he no longer plays professional sports, Walker is still involved with athletics, working for Collegiate Sports History, a company which documents the accomplishments of several Southern colleges, most notably his University of Kentucky. It's a very exciting program because uh, we have an opportunity to go into the school, to speak to the kids about staying in school, staying away from drugs, having a good positive attitude. <laughs> Although his career might not have been as productive as he and others would have liked, Walker has no regrets. I played 12 years of professional ball and played seven years in the NBA. And, uh, you know, for me, you know, having played there and having played against some really, really great ball players, I feel honored and blessed to be able to play, have said that, that I played in the NBA that long. Uh, but I do think that the NBA slam dunk contest is the thing that people are going to remember me most by. And, and like I said, that's not a bad thing.